Go back to the word. Read your word. Spend time. Pray. Ask the Father to strengthen you. Ask him for the Holy Spirit to teach you and guide you that you don't have to lean on man. Ask him to direct you to good people so that you can pray together and be strong together. So if you're going through something, you have a good prayer partner. You have someone that can shape things loose and put things together and can reach those heavens. You need prayer warriors in your life. Okay, so it's time for us to love one another with all the strength and fiber that we have. And the only way we can even love is to understand what love is. And the only way we can do that is going back to the root of where we came from. And that is the word of the Most High. I love you. And I ask that the Father be with each and every one of you. And this week that as you read every word, every seed that you plant in your own garden, I ask that the great harvest will come, the harvest of salvation, the harvest of love, the harvest of wisdom, the harvest of prosperity, the harvest of the power and spirit of the Most High to walk with you everywhere that you go. That everyone, everyone will see and feel His Spirit in you. It is time that the power of the Most High works in his children it is time for your shyest his spirit as he was on this earth shall be the spirit of you on this earth you should be healing and touching people and praying and loving people and going everywhere you can father where you want me to go father what do you want me to do father should i be praying what do you want me to do use me as your vessel in this world for you said that i am the light of the world so man may see the good works the good works of who? You are the word manifested. You are. So walk in the word. Be the word. Be it. Be it. If it says forgive your brother, be the forgiveness. If it says to cover your brother, be the blanket. If it tells you to pray for your brother, be the prayer. If it's telling you to always be strong and rooted in the word so that your strength can be the conqueror so that you can conquer that you are more than a conqueror he said keep your eyes single keep your eyes single narrow is the way don't look to the left nor to the right but look up to the hills that cometh your strength you have to keep your eyes on the father that way that word and the father is the word he brought his word so when we keep our minds on the word anything that opposes we reject that's not of my father i'm not receiving that lie i'm not receiving that negativity i'm not that's not who i am that's not what i do that's not what i'm going to do i am the word of the most high and anything that opposes the word of the most high is a stranger he said, my children know my voice and a stranger's voice they will not follow. When you hear those voices, because that battleground is the enemies, you tell him, no, you can't come in this gateway. You are not welcome here. That's a lie. That's a lie from the pit of hell. I know my father's voice. And I'm going to think on those things. I'm going to renew my mind on a daily basis. I'm going to think on those things that are pure and of good report. I'm going to keep my eyes single. And no matter what goes on around me, I'm going to be steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in love. Steadfast, unmovable. No to and fro. Okay? You can't be hot and cold at the same time. No lukewarm. You got to be either or. You have to stand. You have to stand for what you truly are. There's no more playing church anymore. There's no more, more going to church and think you're on the Ursha board. The works don't work. It's not about the works. It's about the purging of the heart. Your heart has to be purged. Your conscience has to be purged. It is time for you to become the manifestation of the living word. You are the living word that's how you should be living that's the what you should be doing and if you love him he said if you love me those who love me my children are obedient they keep my laws 
So to keep the law, you have to become the law. You know more under the letter of the law. He said the new covenant, he's written the law in your hearts. So it's in you. It's in you to know it. So why fight against the prick? Why sit there? You know if something tells you not to do something, you know in your spirit if it's right or wrong, and you do the opposite of doing what is wrong, then you're opposing the most high. That's what you're doing. So how can you say you love him if you're constantly opposing him and opposing the law that he set in your own body, in your own being? So stay rooted and grounded in the word. If you love him, spend time with him. Make relationship with him. Cultivate that relationship. Nourish that relationship. It is time. It is time for Israel to rise. It is time for Israel to be gathered together as one people, one nation, one power, one love. Tell the offenses to go. Don't allow the small offenses to separate you from your family and from your people and the ones you love. See beyond the offense and understand that there is something so much greater and that is love. My love for you is greater than the offenses. And when my love is greater than the offenses, the offenses shall go away. They will dissolve. They will disappear. You have to gird up with inside yourself. You have to spend time with your father to get that strength. And when you get that strength, you will have a peace. He said, the joy of the Lord is my strength that joy, that peace, that no matter what goes on around you, you have the joy and the peace of the Most High in you. That's greatness. So live in your greatness. Live in your greatness and make sure that you hold on to and become that word rooted and grounded within every fiber and cell of your being and that wherever you go and whatever you do, you are that word and manifestation. I bless you with the love of the Most High and I pray for your weakness that you will be blessed and anything that comes your way, that you will take the word with you and no weapon formed against you shall prosper because you're soldiered up in the word and anything that opposes the word, you speak that word just like Christ did when he was being attacked by the enemy himself. He spoke the word. He spoke the word. He spoke the word until the enemy fleed. Speak that word. That's your sword. Learn that word. Become that word. Study and show yourself approved and rightfully divide the word of truth. You must know it because he said, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Don't be the one that perish for a lack of knowledge. Take the time just like you take time for everything else. You watching TV, that's no good. You, you watching all these shows and the news and what's going on and gossiping. That right there is not going to save your soul. It's not going to put anything positive in your life. You have to take the time with your father and feed your spirit and soul with life. So that you may have good life. You become better. You have to become the better person. And when you become better, everything around you will become better. Start with you. Root yourself. Be grounded. Always abide with his love. Go back to the root, which is the word of the Most High. And live in your power. Soldier up. Gird up. For the Most High loves you. And he's there waiting for his children to do the will not thy will not our will but thine will thine will be done so i love you and i praise the most high for you and i thank him for you having a blessed week ahead of time and if anything happens that you do not expect ask the father what is it that you want me to know whatever challenge it is father what does you want me to know what is it where is it that you want me to grow because what I do know that nothing can be in my way and happen around me unless you give it the right. So if he gives it the